In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a practical introduction to the TikTok Ads API. So at first, we're going to learn how to get access to the TikTok Ads API. Then we'll examine your account, campaigns, ad groups, and ads. Um, then you'll learn how you can report on your ads. And lastly, how you can find the best performing ad by ad spend. So this tutorial is targeted at marketers who run some type of TikTok ads and should be ideally comfortable in a somewhat technical environment. So maybe you're a spreadsheet pro or you've dabbled with some, uh, some sort of APIs before. Um, maybe you have some programming experience. Um, yeah, but you must feel somewhat comfortable um, with these terms and uh, with accessing your TikTok ad account programmatically. Um, but the, this introduction will guide you step by step through how you can do this yourself. So before we get started, uh, we need to get access to the TikTok Ads API. And if you watched one of our other tutorials on the Facebook Ads API, it was very straightforward to get an access token by creating an application and then working with the Facebook Graph API Explorer on TikTok. Uh, on TikTok, it's not so easy. Um, so in order to uh, make your first API call to the TikTok Ads API, what you need to do first is register as a developer, um, then get approved, which usually takes a few days, and then um, use your credentials to create an access token. Um, but let's get started. So first of all, um, you can go to ads.tiktok.com slash marketing API and you could, should get to a page that look uh, looks some, something like this. Um, this is the home page uh, over here. And if you have not uh, created a TikTok account before, there should be a button here saying register as a developer. And once you've registered as a developer, so you go through a few different uh, steps here. Um, once you've uh, registered as a developer, you can go and create an app. So I'm gonna go to my apps over here and as you can see, I previously already created uh, two apps, one that we actually use in our business, the Kitchen.io app, and then we have the Kitchen.io demo app, which I specifically created um, for this tutorial. Um, I will just run you through how you can create your own app as well. So first of all, let's go over here, create new. So first we need to give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this the Kitchen.io demo app number two. Um, and yeah, we need to provide a short description. Um, we want to pull some reporting data. All right, that did not work. Kitchen IO demo app number two, pull some reporting data. So these two things are fairly straightforward. Um, now we have two more points that may uh, are not so straightforward for you. Um, so we have the advertiser redirect URL and we have the scope of permissions. The advertiser redirect URL is the place where TikTok will send advertisers after connecting their ad account to your app. Um, of course, in our case, we just want to create an app that we use ourselves. Um, so there is no advertiser connecting their ad account. This is just us um, connecting our own account. So you can just put your homepage here. I'm just gonna put ours as well. And then we need to select some scope of permission. So in order to protect advertisers, which again, in our case is not so relevant, but technically in order to protect advertisers from accidentally sharing crucial information with a third-party app, like the Kitchen.io app, um, the API access is broken up in different scopes. That means if you want to build an app for other people to use that can create ads or that can report on ads or upload assets or something like that, then you can specify what type of permission is relevant. In our case, uh, we can ignore the ad account management part. Um, this would only be relevant if you were building an app that was about sharing access to your accounts or something like that. In our case, we just want to do ad management. So we want to read out campaign information, etc. Uh, we want to be able to report. So all of the reporting levels are relevant. And then 
if you uh, also want to create an ad, we also need creative management um, in order to upload videos or images. Um, and that's it. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different uh, scopes of permissions here as well. So for example, things like automated rules, um, things like ad comments, etc. cetera. Um, those are not really relevant right now uh, for us for this intro tutorial, but feel free to select anything or everything um, as you please. And then uh, once you hit confirm, I'm not going to do this now, but once you hit confirm, um, you will see that your app will be pending. And this usually takes two to three days. Um, so if you're hitting confirm now, um, stop the video right now and get back to us in uh, two to three days. Hopefully you're back and watching again after two to three days after being approved. So this is what this should look like for you. Uh, you'll see an app ID over here, um, a verification status and a secret. And let's now um, go through the steps of uh, generating an access token um, from our credentials. So I'm going to go open up the, this app over here. And what we can see now is that we have an app ID, we have a secret, and there is an advertiser authorization URL and our redirect URL that we added before. And as you can see uh, below, we have some rate limiting, um, which means uh, you know, the level of uh, access that we um, get. So how many requests can we make per minute, hour, etc. And then also our scope that we added here. So we have the ads management reporting, creative management, as you saw before. So in order, um, in order for us to, uh, to get this uh, to work, um, we can now um, try and uh, make our uh, first API call. So what we can do uh, is we can go to this uh, advertiser authorization URL. We copy this URL over here and just open a new tab. And what you can see is that this is the window that you would normally get when you approve a third party application. So in our case, it says, hey, uh, Simon, do you want to give access to your ad accounts and allow this Kitchen.io demo app uh, access the ad management reporting and creative uh, management. And I'm going to say yes, confirm. And what you'll see now is that I got redirected to the home page, which is what I had specified here. This is my redirect URL. And the crucial part now is that we got uh, given uh, two parameters here um, as part of the URL. So we have the auth code and code, and then it says something called state your custom params. So we don't need to worry about this last part for now. Uh, this is only relevant if you're actually building your own application, uh, and then you can manage this uh, parameter to pass on some uh, important information between uh, the TikTok Ads API on your, your integration. So all we need right now is uh, we will just need this auth code. So I, I've marked it out here. I'm going to copy it, uh, hitting s s uh, command C. And this is now the crucial bit. Um, in order to uh, generate uh, an access token, what we now need to do is make an API call to the TikTok API, uh, API with our auth code, our secret, and our app ID. And when we do that, we get a response back uh, from TikTok with an access token. And this access token we can then use to make any of our API calls. So in order to make our API call, we now need some piece of software that allows us to make this API call. Of course, we can use a browser to make any get requests, but in this case, we will need to make a post request that basically requests the access token from the ads API. So there are two free tools available for this that you can use. Uh, I like using Insomnia, but you can also use Postman. Um, both of these allow you to make uh, API calls. Um, I have Insomnia over here. This is what it looks like. So we can uh, choose to make a uh, request here. So in our case, the endpoint that we're targeting is um, the business minus API dot tiktok dot com. So this is the base URL um, of any API calls that we're making to the API, then forward slash forgot that one forward slash uh, 
open underscore API. And then we're currently on version 1.2. And so now we have the real actual um, uh, endpoint that we are requesting. So in our case, uh, our case we are uh, requesting the OAuth2 endpoint and specifically the access token endpoint. And so this is the URL that we need to call. Um, so we have business minus API dot tick dot dot com slash open underscore API forward slash V 1.2 forward slash OAuth 2 forward slash access token. And if that was too complicated to you, um, I have some good news because this tutorial that we're looking at right now also exists as a uh, written tutorial. And you'll see here that um, we skipped through this already, the how to create an application and how to register, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and what you'll see here below is that we could just copy the request that we want to make. So in our case, we have our uh, body, uh, the auth code, the secret, and the app ID, and this is our endpoint. Um, so let's head over to Postman and add the body here. So we'll add this as a JSON format. Um, we need auth code, some value here, secret, some value here, and then we have app ID and some values here. And we can get this data from all of the different places that we looked at before. So we had our redirect page that you hopefully didn't close. So we have our auth code over here. Let's copy that. Then we need to choose the app ID and the secret. So I'm gonna start with the app ID and the secret. Cool, and that's it. So this should now allow me to create an access token. Let's see. And et voila, as we can see, TikTok responds with the 200 okay and says, yeah, this indeed works fine. And here is your access token. Use this access token wisely um, to make API calls.